Hi guys. My name is Marlene McCohen and um, I have to apologize for this weird car video, but something has come up that I want to tell you guys about. Um, first things first, I want to let you guys know I will be releasing a Parent Tip Tuesday video as regular. It won't be a new one that I made, but you guys haven't seen it yet. It's going to be a short, quick one, me with Rocky, because of the circumstance that has happened today. Um, I'm in my car because I got a call today about a bird, an African Grey, who needs a home. These kind of things are so hard. I actually met this bird like three years ago. The guy had him in a warehouse in a cage and I taught the guy how to like let the bird out and let the bird just, you know, at least be socialized because for a bird that's been in the cage so long, it was quite a nice bird. I don't know the history of where he got the bird or anything like that. Anyway, I met that guy in a completely different state. And now he has moved to California and he called me and he said, can you take my bird? I moved into a place where they don't allow birds. And so he's on the balcony and it's cold and we miscommunicated today. So I couldn't like pick up the bird. And my first thought was I can't have any more birds. This is why I have birds. Sometimes some of you guys write in, or maybe those of you who aren't, aren't bird people, you know, write in and say, why do you have so many birds? Well, believe me, I didn't want so many birds. I love them all, but when you are a dog lover or a cat lover, there are so many other people that share the ability to take care of them. But with birds and their, their just how intellectual they are and how much stimulation they need, it's so sad how birds have it the worst and they're the smartest pets you could ever have. They literally get locked in cages if someone doesn't know how to deal with them. So when someone brings me a situation like this, I know it's either me or the bird just dying in a cage or living in a cage forever. I'm not saying there aren't other people that I couldn't find a home for the bird and um, I probably will try because I can't really have another bird, even though African greys are my favorite, but it would be really hard because he's not George. But I would never ever give him to somebody who couldn't take care of him and maybe we'll see what happens. Maybe my brother, you guys saw my um, video of Ty with the cockatoo. My brother's amazing with birds. So I think he would love an African grey, hopefully. So I wanted to let you guys know that I'm only going to put up like a short uh, Parent Tip Tuesday video that I already had because I'm going to film this process starting from now to when I get this African Grey in my car later to bringing him home. So this could actually be a lot more interesting for you guys than um, what I normally put up. And you guys can go on the journey with me and this bird. Well, I don't even know the bird's name yet, but we'll find out. It's just so sad, guys. I don't even know. It's like he said we had a miscommunication about when I could, when he could drop him off today, and so he was gonna drop him off earlier, and somehow we miscommunicated because someone else was coming to my house, and um, so he said I'll I'll come tomorrow, and then. I get out here to go to the gym and it's freezing and I'm like this bird is outside on a balcony so I called him and I said I'm sorry to bother you but I'll come get the bird I will drive over to you and pick him up because I just can't think of a little bird outside you guys know how bad a draft is I mean this is Los Angeles it's it's pretty cold for Los Angeles you know it's not New Jersey or New York but it's 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 pretty cold and um Birds, like especially parrots, cannot take this kind of chill. So I'm going down there. It's uh, almost 9 o'clock. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated. I'm going to show you what I do with a bird like that. I don't know if he'll let me film anything, you know, his situation or anything like that. But uh, I will definitely fill you guys in. And maybe through this you guys will learn what to do 
if you come into the situation or uh, you know maybe change your mind on what you would do I called my brother and I said Danny I only got to tell you this Jenna's not around nobody's around mom and dad are in a different country uh, my parents don't uh, live with me but they come to visit a lot I said I don't want to look like a bird hoarder but what do I do and my brother said exactly the same thing he said the first thing you do is get the bird out of that place and then we'll decide what to do so that's the first thing that we're going to do is to make sure that the decisions are in our own hands so that's it guys that's the information I have for you right now um, Follow me on Instagram uh, for updates at Marlene McCohen, Twitter at Marlene McCohen. And um, yeah, I will keep you guys updated as much as possible. Keep tracking in YouTube because I'm going to like put these updates on this bird like sporadically like from my phone. So if you guys are interested, I'll give, give you all the information as I get it. So thank you guys for tuning in. And by the way, um, I'm really excited to show you guys the bird film. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. So once that hits, you guys are going to see our bird movie, which I really, really hope you guys like. Um, we had a lot of fun making it. Well, there was a lot of pressure making it. It was a really, really intense day with intense actors. But it's amazing just to know how all my friends can come together that don't even have birds and totally understand a movie like this. It's, it's really, really amazing to me that all these great actors that I know got together and took a bird movie completely seriously so uh, that's it guys um, I will keep you updated as soon as I can okay bye